It's okay, we got a lot to talk about. And first of all, I want you to look at this storm. It looks very ragged, every bit as ragged as it was yesterday. That, in a sense, really hasn't changed much. Think about that buzzsaw look of most hurricanes and tropical storms. There's the center. All of the weather is north and east of the center. And you say, well, then if that's the case, then why are we looking at tropical storm warnings across our area? That's a good question. What happened today is that center relocated a little bit more to the east. So because of that, the hurricane center thinks there's a decent chance we could at least see tropical storm force gusts from Pinellas County anywhere along the coastline down through Manatee and Sarasota. A lot of folks are saying, Dennis, could that be extended north into Pasco, Hernando and Citrus? Eventually it could, but that is not the forecast at this point in time. So what is this track? Looks pretty reminiscent to what it was yesterday, doesn't going off to the north and then eventually off to the northwest. Yesterday we were saying Mobile, Alabama for landfall. I'm still saying Pensacola to Mobile, but again, the difference is before it starts making that turn, we think it's going to get a little bit closer to the Bay Area, not close enough to do significant damage, but close enough to increase some gusty winds along the coast. The rain forecast is not changing. I still think we're looking at rain of about two to three inches of rain later tonight and tomorrow. A lot of consensus where the center's going. The reason the models have had a tough time here is because there hasn't been a real center. It's been moving around kind of like a whack-a-mole game. If you think about it, pop it up all over the place. And now eventually we are getting a better idea where that center is. Then I think it's given the models a better idea of where it's going. So in terms of a Titan Doppler radar, We've just had some nuisance rains all day long, but if you look down to the south, that's where the heavier weather comes in, and I think it rolls in later on tonight. Future cast shows this evening if you're going out, actually not a bad night. Yes, some light showers around the area, but certainly nothing heavy. That, I think, rolls in well after midnight and by tomorrow morning, and when this arrives, I think you're going to notice it. That's when the rains pick up, and that's when the winds get quite a bit gustier. And we'll